it's that time of year again. Baseball season here is here, and that means living and dying with the New York Mets. The agita, the aggravation, the frustration. What will they do to piss me off this year? Now, I'm going to try to be as optimistic as possible. It, I mean, they should be better. Their bullpen looks terrific. They've actually did the right thing for once, and they've got Jacob DeGrom locked up long term. So that's that's a positive sign. So that should mean that's good. That will keep Noah Syndergaard happy because Jacob DeGrom's happy. If Jacob DeGrom's happy, that means Noah Syndergaard has hope that he could get paid. And... and, and for once, the Mets aren't nickel and diamond people. Pete Alonso's on the opening day roster. They actually said that the best 25 are going north, and the best 25 are going north. I mean, every team, even the Yankees do that. Nickel and diamond people on that uh, service time. So, this is actually a refreshing change for the uh, Mets. I mean, right now, Vladimir Guerrero is... In the minors, because he, the Blue Jays don't want to mess with his service time, even though he is probably the best rookie in baseball. But the Mets bringing up Pete Alonso, who's got a chance at the rookie of the year. I won't be surprised if he wins the rookie of the year. And, and uh, what, another thing I like is how the approach they used in hitting this uh, spring training, which is another refreshing change. No more lift and pull, lift and pull, lift and pull. Oh, that was so frustrating. I mean, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I mean, every time it was just, you kept, you kept seeing the same thing. And uh, that philosophy looks like it's changed. It looks like they're actually going to be playing smart baseball, perhaps. Fingers crossed. I mean... It's, it's a long overdue. It's long overdue that they play the right way and hit the baseball the right way. Now, where I have concern, though, is the lineup is still not deep. They don't have a deep team. They don't have a deep bench. Of course, Jed Lowry. I think we'll probably see Jed Clampett play on the Mets before we see Jed Lowry. I mean, it's like putting on that Met uniform. It's like you... like. You turn to Danos. You turn to dust. Mr. Wilpon, I don't feel so good. Ugh. Unbelievable. Un un uh, 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 Jed Lowry. Uh, 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 it's almost like he doesn't exist anymore. Hello, Jed Lowry. Where are you? Uh, it's hot. Fraser, there's another one. He's already hurt, so... I mean, the Mets hope. They hope that they can get Jonas Cespedes back. But, you know, that never seems to happen. I mean, good God, what a frustration. I mean, it's just the same every year. It's like half the players end up in the infirmary. It's like, Mash should be the dean of the Mets, not meet the Mets. And of course, we do have good uh, two starters. Blake Wheeler, they need, if the Mets are going to make a run at the wild card, they'll need uh, a big, another big season out of Blake Wheeler. Steven Matz, of course, who knows what you're going to get out of him. And then you got Jason Vargas. He, I mean, he just has it look. He has a look of somebody. He, he, you could t look at him; and he looks like he sucks. So, if Degrom and uh, Syndergaard get enough support, they should both win enough games. And I love the bullpen. I love Edwin Diaz. I love the fact that Jerry Familia is back as a setup man, not a closer. If Seth Lugo and uh, Robert Gonzalez aren't used too much, they both seem to be fine. And you got a, a 
decent enough bullpen, and that seems to be more important these days than actually starting pitching. I like the move of Robinson Cano. He's actually looked good this spring. I think he's a good professional hitter, and I think he could have an impact. The key for the Mets, though, I think is not falling out of the race early and maybe being close enough that if Jonas Hespis comes back in July, it feels like a big deadline deal acquisition, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, the Mets can make a run to the playoffs. I think that they could at least win 85 games, which is about what Vegas is saying. I mean, Mets have a lot of ifs. They are the team of ifs. And if everything goes right, it could be a season of short light. But that never happens for the Mets. So it's probably going to be more aggravation, frustration, and heartache. Let's just hope that there's more good ifs than bad ifs. So at least maybe they could add, play some meaningful games this year. Well, here we go. 162. Here we go again.